What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out WWE wrestlers whose bodies are damaged because of wrestling, man. I I say this all the time. I show respect to all wrestlers who decide to put their bodies on the line for our entertainment. A lot of people tend to say, "Oh, it's fake." It's not. The pain that they deal with after their wrestling career. It's not something that you would uh want to deal with and it's not something i think you would say oh it's fake that you're dealing with the pain that you're dealing with you know what i'm saying like this is it's it, it it changes their lives forever man like the moves that they're doing the punishment that they've been they take throughout the years that's real you can't fake that some of the stuff is it's it's choreographed but a lot of the stuff is not you can't fake falling off a ladder through a, a table or two tables you can't fake falling on thumbtacks. You can't fake sometimes those stiff shots that you get kicked in the face, kicked in the chest. You know, you can't fake a lot of these things. You can't fake concussions. Like, um, that's just what it is, man. So respect to anyone that chooses to be a wrestler. Respect to anyone that's done it. Respect to you, man, because you have to be tough to be in that ring. But this should be a good one. Injuries, which Let's is caused right serious this damage one. to the... I wasn't trying to it just automatically start playing. Let's get into it, man. A wrestler goes through a lot of abuse and injuries, which can cause serious damage to mm -hmm. their bodies. Ryback is one wrestler who lives with permanent damage. In 2014, the big guy gave a heartfelt speech about his career. He also revealed something that had never been publicly shared. In 2010, back when Ryback was called Skip Sheffield, he was wrestling a match in Hawaii. An accident happened, and Ryback broke his ankle. The big guy continued wrestling which unfortunately caused the injury to get even worse and he broke his leg. It oh. took three surgeries to repair Ryback's leg and thankfully he was able to return to the ring. However, his left leg has a scar near the area where he suffered the injury, which is covered by Ryback's knee pad. Scott Steiner nearly wow. died while wrestling a match in Puerto Rico. Big Papa Pump got kicked in the throat, which caused internal bleeding. Blood began to fill Steiner's lungs, and he was taken to the hospital, Holy. where doctors told Freakzilla he only had five hours to live. Luckily, thanks to emergency surgery, the hospital staff was able to save Scott Steiner's life. However, the incident left Steiner with a massive scar that was about 18 inches long. Oh. Oh While Scott my. Steiner was able to wrestle again, the incident had another effect on Big Papa Pump's body. His pectoral muscles began degenerating following the surgery, which has caused them to separate. Looking at pictures of Steiner's chest oh, from earlier in his wow. career, you can clearly see how drastically it's changed. Brock Lesnar is a legit fighter both in WWE and outside of it. Mm -hmm. He's been in a lot of matches, and his body has been permanently altered because of it. The right ear of the beast appears deformed. Lesnar has what is known as cauliflower ear, mm -hmm. which is caused when someone repeatedly gets hit in the head. A blood clot forms in the person's ear, causing the odd shape. For Lesnar, only his right ear was affected, which tells you something about the way he wrestles and fights. Interesting. Any, hey, I will say this. If you see somebody with a cauliflower ear, back away. Don't even do it. Don't even do it. You're going to get yourself hurt. Just, just, just move away, bro. That's all I'm going to say. Interestingly, one of Lesnar's rivals, Kurt Angle, also has cauliflower ear. Unfortunately for Angle, he lost his hearing in one of his ears because Damn. of that. Kevin Nash has spent over 30 years wrestling. This has resulted in numerous injuries that have caused some serious damage to his body. The WWE Hall of Famer revealed that his right leg was caved in due to years of wrestling. According to Ew. Nash, this deformity made him basically crippled and was the reason he stopped competing. There is good news though. Jeez. Nash had his leg surgically repaired and after two years of rehab, both of his legs look much better. Oh, that is way much better. His knee was bent in. Oh my god. At Unforgiven 2004, Shawn Michaels would fight Kane one-on-one -on -one for the first time. Unfortunately, Michaels wouldn't be the same after it was over. During the match, HBK took a hit and landed on the mat. The impact caused Michaels to hurt the muscle that was attached to his left eye. Luckily, Shawn was able to finish the match, but it did cause some damage. The showstopper's left eye was weakened, and he now has lazy eye. You can see this from time oh, wow. to time, as Michaels will appear cross-eyed. HBK's sight is a little obscured because of his lazy eye, but he does still have 20-20 vision. Devon Dudley made a name for himself, taking part in extreme wrestling, mm -hmm. and his body proves it. To this day, the WWE Hall of Famer has scars on his head. Mm -hmm. Devon didn't get them from going through tables or getting hit by chairs, though. 
Rather, the scars came from how Dudley would make himself bleed. Mm, Wrestlers use a small razor blade to create a cut, usually yep. on their head, so that they start bleeding. Unfortunately, Devon Dudley has paid for it because the years of blading have left their mark on his head. Mm -hmm. One night after Raw went off the air, Luke Harper was wrestling a match and his leg got seriously injured. To see what happened, watch this video. Damn, man. Yo, I, look, I will say this, bro. Anybody that wrestles, I said it at the beginning of this video, you guys are fucking awesome. You guys are champs. And anyone that says it's fake, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. It's a disrespect to anyone that has willingly put their bodies on the line. I want y'all to understand, people who are willing to jump off of ladders and and fall through flaming tables and fall through tables wrapped in barbed wire and take chair shots to the back, chair shots to the head, unprotected chair shots. They're willing to fall off of cages, fall through tables up at the bottom of like of ramp areas or fall off a ramp, jump off a ramp. These people are willing to do all of this to entertain us. I have nothing but respect. I may not like a person's character in WWE or in AEW or wherever, how they're booked. But I can respect that they're doing what they love and it's a very dangerous job. You can end up getting hurt, paralyzed. Sometimes you may, you could end up losing your life. This is not something that should be ever taken lightly. And uh, I appreciate everyone that inspires to be a wrestler, has wrestled, and you know I, I appreciate you for doing that because you entertain us us regular folks that would never do that 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 truly is uh truly amazing man so comment down below let me know man if you guys truly appreciate those who take who are willing to put their bodies on line that's all i want to see in the comment section just us showing appreciation to wrestling as a whole the wrestling community that or like the wrestlers that you know actually get in the ring and put their bodies on line for our entertainment man let's just push nothing but that in the comment section that's all i want to see just showing appreciation for those who are willing to get in the squared circle as they say but i appreciate all the love and support road to 70k appreciate y'all keeping me see you on the next one peace